hi guys welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new to this channel my name is shami the medical physicist and those of you who are already familiar with this channel welcome back welcome back in today's video i'm going to be focusing on medical physics so we're going to be doing the uh, chamber stability check it's one of the checks that can be done uh, on a monthly basis and we are using a radioactive source in this video, I'm going to be using uh, strontium 90 as the source to check the stability of these iron chambers that we are using in our department. So if any of this finds you of interest or if you're interested in uh, seeing how we do this check in our department, then this video is for you and I hope you like Starting off by taking the pressure and temperature readings. In our department we use this wall uh, thermometer barometer and then we go on to setting the electrometer ready to take the measurements range is low because uh, we're using a radioactive source and then we set the interval time for a hundred seconds for the first chamber we are going to use the semiflex and then the voltage uh, 400 for that chamber and ready to start The radioactive material that we used was the strontium 90 to check for the stability of these detectors. The detector we used is a semiflex and then we connected this detector to the electrometer and inserted it inside this radioactive source which is a strontium 90. Taking the measurements we took three measurements and we got the average of those readings. So that was it for semiflex. Moving on to the next detector, which is a plain parallel, in our case, advanced markers. We set the electrometer, the interval time, the voltage, and then we are ready to take the measurements. The radioactive source that we are using still is a uh, strontium 90. It's just of a different shape and the detector is advanced markers. For the connections, you get the uh, chamber, place it on the table, and then insert that uh, cup or holder, then seat the radioactive source on top of that holder so that you can um, be able to radiate the uh, detector which is underneath. And then connecting the uh, detector again to the electrometer ready to take on our measurements we took three measurements and we got the average moving on to the analysis of the results for semiflex this is the reading we all, we acquired in coulombs and for advanced markers this is the reading we acquired in coulombs however we have to correct for uh, these readings for temperature and pressure so that's how we obtain this value the ktp using the formula and uh, because we are using a radioactive source, which is strontium-90, we have to also account for the decay of that source. That's why you're seeing today's date and the date when the source was new. So the difference gives us those uh, the number of days that have elapsed. So this, um, if we apply the decay uh, equation, we obtain this value. So that's the expected value. However, from today's measurements, this is the reading we are getting. So the difference between today's uh, reading and what we expect gives us a percentage difference of 0.29% for semiflex and 1.3% for advanced markers. We're expecting uh, these chambers to be stable or to uh, be within 1%. In other words, the difference between the expected value and the corrected uh, reading should be within 1%. But we are seeing uh, a higher value. That's why we are going to follow up to see if this chamber needs uh, to be 
and worked on or it could be an error in today's measurements anyways thank you guys very much for watching this video i hope you found it informative and if you rather did please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already to this channel please be sure to subscribe this channel and if you have any questions be sure to leave them in the comment section below and we'll answer them all right bye guys